Okay. Woo. What am I gonna say? <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Hi. Welcome back to my channel, My First Gynae, where we talk about all things women related. And remember, it's just a conversation, and on My First Gynae, nothing is off limits. I'm Dr. Lusanda Shimange Matsuse, founder of My First Gynae. As you know, this month, we are talking about all things sex, those burning questions that you want to ask your gynae, you just don't know how to ask. The first question we answered was, can I have sex when I'm pregnant? The second question was, what happens when little red is in the hood? Can I have sex? And today we're asking, is the G-spot real or is it a unicorn? So, I cannot tell you where you can find a unicorn, but I can tell you where you can find your G-spot. If you think about a vagina as a tubular structure and divided into thirds. So if you go into your vagina, just about two thirds up, right? On the anterior side, in other words, on the ceiling of your vagina, you'll feel almost like a rigidy, rough area there. Boom, that is the spot. Very erogenous. <laughs> Erogenous. How do you pronounce that word? <laughs> Her. No more fingers. Let's. <laughs> okay. So now we're two thirds into the vagina. On the ceiling of your vagina, and this area feels different from the rest of your vaginal walls, right? So it's more, it's rough, it's rigid. And then when you reach that area, it should feel great. G marks the spot, the G spot. So if you do have those burning questions, don't be scared to go to your gynae. Remember, this is just a conversation. And if you enjoyed that video and any other videos on my first gynae, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. I'm Dr. Lusanda Shimange Matsuse, founder of My First Gynae. So, oh no. Are you going into your zen? I was going into the, I know, I felt it. And it should feel great. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. It's not just an ordinary part of your vagina. And it should feel great. <laughs>